What you're about to see is something you can only see here in our region. It's the cutting edge of imaging technology that allows researchers to create and see a circuit diagram of the human brain. Developed at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC, high definition fiber tracking has the potential to revolutionize brain surgery and recovery from traumatic brain injuries. Recently, Dr. Walter Schneider talked about it at Unboxed, presented by Leadership Pittsburgh, Inc. Dr. Schneider is a professor of psychology, neurosurgery, radiology, and bioengineering at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. I'm going to tell you show you a technology and show you a bunch of images that were just impossible to get four years ago. I'm going to show you about a new technology that lets us take the living human brain and map the connections of their brain in a vivid, as Michelle Obama says, high definition. The technology that I'm going to describe deals with a major health cost in, uh, cost in the U.S., brain connectivity disorders. They come in different forms, for example, uh, neuropathology, where you have a tumor, uh, developmental disorders, such as autism, uh, neurodegeneration, as in Alzheimer's, and traumatic brain injury, where a cable has broken. Uh, they represent 10.4 million cases a year, uh, and what we're looking at is a technology to see that wiring. The bad news is there is no FDA approved technology to allow us to accurately diagnose the brain cable breakage without harvesting the brain. The good news is in Pittsburgh we've invented some research that will enable such diagnosis. The interest in the brain itself, where did that come from? Was that something you always wanted to become involved? I've always had interest in, in brains. I started out actually in electrical engineering, so the concept is if I could get a circuit diagram, I, I'm, I'm old school when you actually had to fix things and you needed to fix anything, you needed a circuit diagram. So I got into this because if I could have a circuit diagram for the person that needs help, I'm in a lot better position to help them. What we want to do is make the track breakage visible and quantifiable. So that just like an x-ray can show you where there's a broken bone, we developed something we call high definition fiber tracking that says what cable is broken and how badly. We can create a circuit diagram where the links on that diagram illustrate these different components of the circuit diagram. Then just like bones in your body, we can map the cables of your brain. We can do route planning. Do I go in this way, or this way, or this way? Which is going to do the least damage to the person? We've got to get to the tumor, otherwise the person's going to die. But we want to do as little damage on the way in and out as possible. What's happened in the last few years that suddenly made this possible? You can sort of think of it, there's, it's hit a critical tipping point. So there's been improvements, dramatic improvements of the mathematics, particularly by some of the people who are working in my staff. Uh, there's been computing power has gotten enormously faster. The acquisition of what the MRI machines ha has gone up a notch, so now we can see these tracks. So it's all coming together so that with this combination, we've hit that pivotal point we're actually providing something clinically useful. So this technology has restored lives. Uh, Robert Freelander, the surgeon, said uh, Ashley could not move half her body. Uh, we needed to operate on her. Uh, if we understand where all the normal fibers are, we can s stay away from them. Having high definition fiber tracking is what enabled us uh, to get to the lesion. So I'd like you to think if it was your child they're becoming paralyzed, looking at a lifetime uh, of paralysis on the body. And now you have a technology that can do, and let me let Ashley explain what happened. Where I am right now is amazing. To actually get out and live on my own, I didn't think it was possible. I am cooking, driving, and have a full-time job. All of a sudden, Pittsburgh seems to be a hotbed for brain research. We seem to be on the national and international radar screen. What's going on here? Good people and an environment. What's, what's unusual about Pittsburgh is that we get along well. 
and we don't have the discipline focus that some groups do that I can talk with computer science, I can talk with nurse, neuroanatomists, I can talk with neurosurgeons. The very few communities where that comfortable interaction is part of the, the way people work. I'm going to end with one of my uh, favorite quotes from uh, science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Four years ago, this was magic. Now it lets us help people. Thank you. Well, later this year, Dr. Schneider's team at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC will be deploying the technology to 11 medical centers across the country, initially to provide new diagnostic technologies for traumatic brain injury. You can see his entire unboxed presentation at lpinc-unboxed.org. Next up, the lost art of breastfeeding and the billions of dollars it's costing employers every year. Stay with us.